Hello everybody and welcome back to Marble Time Attack Season 2 Race 4 here at the Straight Shoot. It's the season finale for the regular season and with three marbles having clinched four playoff spots, there's one spot up for grabs. Five marbles yet to have that exclusive race win so the odds are that we'll see a new winner but there's always three marbles hitting the play spoiler and make it come down to points for that final spot. Inferno though, one of those marbles that has not won a race yet so he's going to need a pretty solid time here to get started came runner-up in race three, but Patriot took him down. So this will be the benchmark time here, needs it to be good, and we'll start with a 37-25 as he crosses the line. Seemed pretty solid overall, no really massive mistakes in the run, and we'll establish the benchmark time that the rest of the seven will hope to chase. And so next up, it's Patriot, who beat Inferno in race three. He's already clinched, nothing to play for here except seeding and pride. So it's not going to be too terrible if it doesn't go as a great time. A little bit slow through those corners, and a lot of spread between the three marbles. But as they come across the line, swooping through these turns, it's a 37.95, so 7 tenths slower than what Inferno put up in the ultimate sum. The Patriot establishes his run in second place. So even though there's not a ton of turns in this track, there still appears to be a healthy amount of room to kind of fall in between these runs. And next up is Treefrog, who won race one, another marble that has clinched the playoff, so he's playing for seeding at this point. And here they go, through this turn. Oh, that last one really slow around the bend, but the first two took it really well. We'll see if they can compensate for it. The last one trying to make up for lost time. As it comes across the line, the final time is 37.58, and it slots right in the middle of the first two. So, I mean, that looked really poor for that last marble, but the first two put in some serious work establishing the fastest and second fastest times of the day so that last one didn't matter too much and Patriot falls to third place clinching Inferno who needs that into the next round and so Flair is the third and final of the marbles that have won a race already he's also clinched the playoffs and we'll see what he can put up here last one hanging in the background a little bit again the first two come across the line the third one joins them and it's the new best time of the day 3704 two tenths quicker than what Inferno put up. So that means that Patriot's time looks very vulnerable right now as there's four runners to go and all four runners have not clinched the playoffs yet. They're looking for that race win. And there's your makeup of the times. All of them staying within a second of each other. So there's time to fall in between but there's not a ton of time. You have to keep it clean. And Cyclone, one of these marbles that has to win this race. He's had a really bad season in terms of points so getting in on points probably won't work, so it has to be a race win today. And we'll see what he can do here. A couple of disagreements between those marbles as they actually pass each other in the open section and swoop across the line in its fifth place, and it's pretty far back, 38-78. You see right there that third marble overtakes the second one. We got a little bit out of sorts on that wall, and it really stings for Cyclone, who has to qualify, has to win this race, and is last place by about eight-tenths of a second right now. Supernova, another marble that has struggled recently. We'll see what he can do. Putting in some moves on this corner right there. Those first two have a bit of a lead on the third one, but overall seems pretty clean so far. Nothing to really hate about this run as it comes across the line. 38.79, it's the worst time of the day. So this one even worse than Cyclone, even though it didn't look quite as bad visually, but that is really bad news for Supernova and good news for Cyclone, meaning that he's might have a chance to make it through to the next round with two marbles to go. Slimeball is one of them, and he's been so close so many times to getting that race win. Hasn't found it yet, hoping that today can be the day for him as they come across very clean and very close to each other here, trying to pick up that slipstream on the marble in front and swooping through these turns, crossing the line, and it's the new best time of the day. Slimeball has come to play here in race four and he sets a sub 37 second total, the first one of the day. And with one marble to go, Supernova is confirmed eliminated from this race and the playoff chase. Cyclone sits in the spot, the transfer position right now with a 38.78 time, so Titanic, he's gotta keep it a relatively clean run and it'll come to together for him. The defending champion of our season here, and here we go, that first one has a huge lead on the other two. They're trying to bring it back, and as they come across the line, the time is gonna be enough, and it's enough by about six tenths of a second, so left some room for error there, but still just barely makes it through 
Cyclone, the defending runner-up, is eliminated, and Titanic, the defending champion, just barely makes it through. I've got good news, and I've got bad news. Inferno and Titanic will play each other, so we're guaranteed two marbles, including Slimeball, in the semifinals that have not won a race yet, but at the same time, we can't have more than two. And this is such a crucial race here, and right now Inferno has those marbles in the 6, 3, and 2, which adds up to 11, would be a transferring score, and gets it done. No passes for Titanic. That last marble hanging in the background really killed him. And Inferno, once again, going to give it one last run for the playoffs here. He'll have to get through Flair to do it. But right now, he's got a shot at it. And that's all you need in this sport. But Titanic, the defending champion, goes out with a whimper here. Barely got through in qualifying and couldn't figure it out in the bracket stage. Tree Frog and Patriot now, and it is Tree Frog holding that advantage with that 6-3-2, and that marble in front has a lot of room. Now he gets a couple passes in that open section. He's got a huge lead, and Tree Frog crushes Patriot here, 13-8 on the final score, and just a masterclass in overtaking in that open section. Watch that big pack of marbles and how two of them get through, and then round the bend they get another one in front. Really nice move right there, and it's a 6-5-2. I think, yeah, 6-5-2 for Tree Frog. Now, Slimeball and Tree Frog right back to work. And it is Slimeball who gets the better jump as the top seed, but Tree Frog's got some marbles in there. Slimeball will probably need to win this round if he wants a chance to stay alive, though his point total is pretty good at this point. Coming across the line, I think he's got it, and he does. 12-9, Slimeball into the finals, and if Inferno cannot join him there, I'm pretty sure Slimeball will clinch no matter what because he has the points to get it done regardless of if he gets the race win. So this next round with Inferno and Flair is so crucial to the championship in making that final spot. Inferno's going to need some luck, and it's a shame that these marbles look really similar. But right now, Flair has that 6-3-2 start that all these top seeds seem to get. And right now, it's not changing. Inferno's trying to put anything together, makes a move around the bend, and he can't get it done in the end. It's an 11-10. It looked like he got the move, and instead, he just pinched Flair forward, and Flair is going to make sure that Slimeball is going to join the playoffs as that final spot. The, the move was right there, but they ended up pinching against each other, those two Infernos, and it cost them the race. Flair got it done in the end and moves on to the finals here, where he can just, for pride's sake, I guess, get this. If Flair wins this race, he is the number one seed with those two wins, and Slimeball is the number four seed. If Slimeball wins this elimination race, then he will be the number one seed with the win and the points that he's accumulated over the course of the year. Last place in race one is Flair, and Slimeball's got the instant advantage. Now they run it back again here. Slimeball this time seems like he's going to be the one on the chopping block for this race. That last one really hanging in the background, and Flair makes it happen. Two on two as we keep it going, and Slimeball again gets a poor jump. He's got to figure out a way to get a pass. It's not looking likely. The last one is really in the background here. Makes it a little bit closer towards the bottom and can't catch up. Two on one for Flair, but Slimeball gets the better jump. So Flair's got to come up with two passes if he wants to win it here. And it seems unlikely with that last one really far in the background. Slimeball will coast to the victory. And it is a one on one final here. The one seed is on the line. One of these winners will get it. And right now it's Slimeball with the lead. Flair trying to track him down. But Slimeball's got a big lead around the bend. Around the second one. Coming down to the line, and Slimeball gets it done. He's going to the playoffs as the one seed. By virtue of this win, he was going to be in regardless, but he does it in style here in the final race of the regular season. And Flair can only watch. He's not going to end up playing Slimeball in round one of the playoffs. He's going to be, I think, the three seed. Um, but overall, Slimeball makes good on what was a really impressive regular season, and Flair is the three seed. You see those four, and unfortunately for Patriot, who has only not enough points to get into the playoffs, he has that race win, which really makes Inferno the ultimate loser. Thanks for watching. Take care.